Hi everyone, this is a new style of video that I'm doing for a new playlist that I'm creating on the channel, which is called On My Desk. And what I thought I would do is every now and then I would share with you what's on my desk. It could be a chart of someone really interesting, it could be a book, some wisdom from a book, it could be a comment from one of you. Now, one of you on the April monthly, you brilliantly pointed out that, hey, isn't the new moon on the 20th of April, isn't that an eclipse? You're absolutely right. And somehow I didn't mention that. So let's take a look at my astrological screen. I'm going to share that with you. And we're going to take a look and see how to look at an eclipse. Now, I didn't do this. Somehow I did look at the new moon, but I just somehow totally blanked out the fact that Rahu is there in the house. So let's click up through the hours. Okay, we're following the moon here, right? So what makes this an eclipse? Well, we've got the new moon. Okay, there we go. The sun and the moon are exactly conjunct, absolutely exactly conjunct. Okay, just about. We're maybe a few minutes out there, but that's okay. Now, this formation is happening here in the same house as Rahu. We could also have this formation happening here in the same house as Ketu as well, and that is considered a solar eclipse. Now, with a solar eclipse, we have possibly an event, something can jump you forward in life, and especially with this kind of uh, new moon formation here with Rahu. This is very future focused, you know, something could jump you forward here. Now, how do we read a lunar eclipse? Let's click up through the days and we're going to, what we want to see here is we want to see the sun opposite the moon. So let's click up through the hours. <clears throat> and what I'm looking at here is I'm looking at, I want the moon to be at about 20 degrees. Okay, so let's get the moon Oh, just about. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. 20 degrees, 47 uh, minutes of arc. The seconds are out a little bit, but that's okay. So you can see here, let's take a look at the sun. It's right opposite the moon there. And this is happening on the Rahu Ketu axis. So this is a lunar eclipse that is happening on the 5th of May. So I just wanted to share that with you to say that, yes, the 20th of April is an eclipse. So that's important. Also, as we've just seen, the 5th of May is an eclipse as well. So if you can schedule a lighter day when it comes to your work, that would be a really great idea. So if you can avoid having big meetings or any of that on that day, that's great. If you do have something like that booked on the 20th, don't worry about it. Just try to schedule other things so that maybe you know, time is more on your side that day. Maybe you want to get up earlier. Maybe you want to be more organized. Maybe you want to build in buffer time, something along those lines. That would be good. Now, if you are an energy practitioner of any kind, perhaps you, you know, you do Reiki or you do tarot readings or you do astrology readings or any of that kind of work, it's a good idea to not work on someone's energy on that day. Uh, as I say, if you have bookings, it's okay. You're aware now. You can be more mindful uh, as you do the work and you can kind of feel the energy, see if you notice any shift or any of that. Now, the other thing to watch out for is if you are traveling. Okay, again, not ideal day to do big, long distance travel or any of that. If you do have to travel on such a day, which I did, um, this was many years ago, and my dad told me, well, what pair of shoes are you wearing? I said, oh, I'm wearing this pair. He said, well, put one uh, shoe out the front of the house. And I remember doing that. And I remember kind of, you know, hobbling up to my other shoe uh, and my journey. But the idea is that the journey had already begun the day before, just by putting an object outside of your uh, house. And I know it's a superstitious thing, but you know, once you become aware of these things, you kind of start to want to observe them. And that way, you know, you can put something out the front of your house the day before. That way, the journey has already begun. And that just brings you a bit of peace of mind, shows you that, you know, you've done everything that you could to, to make it a great journey. But yeah, that is my tip for the upcoming eclipse. 
Thank you so much to my viewer and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.